Right, uh, last method to solve these equations, okay? Now, the elimination method, it just means, can you get rid of one of the letters? So supposing I wanted to get rid of dogs, I wanted to get rid of X. Okay, get rid of X and find out what Y is first. Hey, no, sorry. Right, you want to get rid of X and then just find out what Y equals. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a simpler one over to the right here, okay? Now look, here's elimination method. I can actually get rid of the y's in this one just by adding. Normally we call this the elimination by addition method. If I add these together, can you see positive y and negative y will cancel? So if I add everything, x and x is 2x, okay? Again, the y's have gone, and it equals what's 8 and 2? It's 10, okay? So divide by 2, divide by 2, x equals 5, all right? There you go, right? Now, if x equals 5, all right, uh, you've still got to back substitute and find out what y is, and you can use whichever one of these equations you want. If I just go back here, can you kind of see that y is going to be 3? 5 plus 3 equals 8. If you need to, just put it in. x is 5 plus y equals 8. That's that first equation, okay? So take away 5, take away 5, y equals 3. And you can check, look at the second equation, x minus y, 5 minus 3, yes, that's 2. So the answer for this would be 5, comma, 3. All right? So, that's the easy one. All right? I didn't have anything to do but add them together. Now look at this one. Yeah. Okay, so remember, you kind of want 1 plus and 1 minus. Well, I can already see that the y is a 1 plus and 1 minus, but I can't just add them because they're not the same coefficient, are they? 1, 6, 1's 4. Now, for this, think of lowest common denominators, lowest common multiples, all right? Uh, what's the lowest common multiple of 6 and 4? It's 12. So if you aim to get these a negative 12y with a positive 12y, okay, when you add them together, they'll go. Just like the previous simple one, a positive y and a negative y. So there's work to do on this one. So here we go. Think about this. Um, if I want to get this one, the first one, to be negative 12y, wouldn't I just multiply by 2? Okay. Okay, now, if I want to get the second one to be positive 12y, to kind of match it, so when I add them, they cancel, can you see I'm going to multiply that one by 3? Okay. So, look at that. I will have a negative 12y in the first and a positive 12y in the second if I do this. It's always a bit more awkward if everything is like positive, because then you've also got to change the sign. So remember that. It may be you multiply one by negative two and one by positive three. So, but for this one, this is all I'm going to do on this one. Now let's write the new equations. Everything by two on the first. Right. 8x becomes 16x. Negative 6y becomes negative 12y, which is what I wanted. And 2 times negative 32 is negative 64. Okay, there you go. Just multiply everything by 2. The second equation by 3, so 3x becomes 9x. The positive 4y becomes positive 12y. And can you see, that's what I wanted. When I add them, the y's will go. And finally, the number, don't forget everything by 3, that's 39. Okay? So when I add these two equations together, I'm going to get 25x. I'm not going to get any y's. But I'll have is that negative 25 you know you should get nice set numbers for this you know we're not going to kind of mess you over with fractions and things so divide both sides by 25 and I've got x equals negative 1 right I've got an answer I've got x equals okay right so I don't know now I've got one of these I'm going to put this into and you just have to decide put it into any one of these equations I'd go back to the first ones I think I'm going to put it into the second equation so a big arrow okay I'm going to go we I'm going to put the x right here all right right there so this becomes 3 I know now x is negative 1 I've still got 4y so this is where I'm going to find the y okay and I've still got 13, okay? So, 3 times negative 1, that's negative 3, okay? Still got the 4y, still got the 13, this is the tedious bit, alright? Okay. Now, I'm going to add 
3 to both sides. Okay, so now just do the algebra. Add 3 to both sides. And hopefully you can see it's going to be a nice number. 4y equals 16. That's 13 and 3. Divide by 4. Divide by 4. Y equals 4. Okay, so there we go. And again, written nicely, negative 1, positive 4. Okay, that's the answer there. And if you want to, you can put those back into the equations just to check. But that's it. That's the elimination method.